July 1st. The following are the routines we will establish with him. 1. As soon as JC gets home from work he will be put changed out of his grown-up clothes into his nappy and little boy clothes. If we are having visitors he will be put in disposables because they are not obvious under his clothes, and he will be pretending he is a grown-up. At all other times he will be put in cloth nappies and plastic panties. We will make sure those changing times are happy times for him reinforcing that he is now just a little boy. Once in his nappy he will be given a bottle. 2. He will wear a bib for all meals and eat from a nursery-style plate. His food will be cut up for him and he will eat with a little spoon and drink from a feeder cup or bottle, unless we have visitors. 3. Every evening he will have a playtime with his toys and will be allowed to watch the videos we have recorded during the day for him, Thomas the Tank Engine, Blue's Clues, Teletubbies etc. For if he wants to do poos he will come and tell me or Sandra and we will take his nappies of and he can go to the potty like a big boy, and then he will come back to us to have his nappy put on again. He is never allowed to take his nappy of himself if one of us is around. 5. We will always dress him in toddler clothes around the home unless visitors are coming. 6. He is not old enough to be given the responsibility of washing himself, so I will give him a bath usually on Monday, Wednesday and Saturday night. 7. Bedtime will be 8.30. 8. In the morning he will be nursed from my breast before he gets up and then given his breakfast. After breakfast his nappy will be taken of and he will be told to go and sit on the potty to do poos. When he is finished he will come to mummy and I will put him in his disposable nappy ready for him to go to work. I will put in his briefcase some white underpants for him to change into during the day when his nappy is wet. He will put his wet nappy in a plastic bag and bring it home in his briefcase. The 18th of June. I have just got of the phone to Sandra. She was delighted that I had managed to use what she called my feminine strength to overcome Jason's male ego problems about her coming to stay. We discussed in depth little Jace's responses. Sandra is so supportive and she makes me laugh. She agreed with me that one victory does not win a war. That the big challenge will be, getting Jason to relate to me as mummy's little boy all the time. This will need to be done by a mixture of seduction, training, educating, and discipline. It means helping Josie that having a relationship with me as a husband or even as a man, is frankly ridiculous for him, that he is just not mature enough, and that we are both going to be far happier once he accepts that. This will not be easy, he is over 30 years of being socialized as a man and life will continue to throw up many invitations for him to step back into the role as husband and man and some of those invitations will be very attractive because of the privilege they entail. My hope is that as the transformation takes place from hubby to booby he will be less and less aware of those invitations as having anything to do with him. In the end he will come to a point of no return. He will see that there is no way back to being my man and the days of being my little boy his only future. Over the next few days Sandra and I are going to work on developing some principles that will guide us in relating to Joe.